Hello everyone, Mary Cariotti, professional personal trainer at Muscles in Motion here. And I wanna show you a couple pulling exercises we can do to target your upper body muscles at home with either just body weight or a couple commonly found items around the household that would be easy to collect and perform these exercises. So the first exercise we're gonna mimic is the rowing exercise. So in the gym, we have several versions of a machine where you're doing a rowing exercise and we can actually mimic that exercise with a towel. So any kind of towel really works as long as it's long, a beach towel, a bath towel, even a scarf sometimes works for this exercise. But what we'll be doing is we'll get onto the ground to start and we'll be in a seated position. So I want you to grip either end of this towel so you're making a U shape and hook the bottom of that U at your feet. So you're sitting nice and tall, abs are slightly engaged to help support this posture and we'll bend the knees enough so that our elbows can be tucked in right by our side. So that may mean that you need your legs a little more straight or a little more bent, just depending on the dimensions of your body, but starting with elbows tucked in right by our sides, gripping either end of this towel, you're gonna actively pull back against that towel, like your elbows are gonna pull back and touch the ground behind you. We you want your shoulders nice and low, you'll pull and just consistently hold. So I recommend starting with about 50% of your maximal effort and then in 30 sec second increments, increasing your resistance against that towel. So holding with about 50% for 30 seconds, then transitioning to about 75% effort against that towel, just actively pulling and holding against it. After another 30 seconds have passed, transition to 100%, your maximal effort You'll begin to feel this in your upper back at the start. Really allow your shoulder blades to pinch together. Our posterior deltoid, our lats and our traps are working together for this. As we start to fatigue at that 100% effort part, our biceps, the front of our arms down, the grip into our forearms will start to fatigue and that's great. So we wanna do this for anywhere from a minute to a minute and a half, just nice controlled, consistent, isometric contraction pulling against a towel. The next exercise I'd like to show you, we can still use a towel. Again, lots of things will work. Sometimes something a little bit thinner can help with grip. So something like a scarf may be better suited for this exercise, but a towel also works great. But you'll grip it kind of like it was a rope with your hands a little bit wider than your hips, shoulders relaxed down, and then we'll lift that towel so it's directly out in front of our chest. As you can see, my hands are directly out in front of my shoulders. And in this position, similar to the row, we're pulling against that towel. So I'm pulling out towards my pinky fingers, like I'm gonna split this towel apart, pulling my shoulder blades together, helping activate those muscles of my upper back. Again, a minute to a minute and a half is a great time frame for this exercise and increase the effort at which you work throughout that. So start with that 50% effort, 30 seconds in, 75, another 30 seconds, 100% effort till the end of that time frame. The third exercise we can do with a couple items that we can find pretty easily around the house is an exercise that's going to target the back of your upper sh shoulder. So your posterior deltoid, we're also going to get support from the traps and the rhomboids between the shoulder blades. So a couple items that we can use for this exercise would be bottles of wine would work great. We just need two of them. Large cans or glass jars of different foods or sauces work awesome because they weigh just a few pounds. Today I'm going to be using a couple large cans. These are about two and a half pounds. So if I'm doing a series of the exercises for my shoulder, this is an adequate weight for this exercise. If you're not quite as fatigued going into it, we may want something a little bit heavier. Wine bottles would probably be enough weight. Sometimes even gallon jugs of water or milk would be appropriate as well. But to start this exercise, we're gonna stand with our feet about hips width apart, get a little bend in our knee, and we're gonna hinge at the hip, keeping a nice flat back, bringing our chest almost till it's parallel to the ground. So my back is nice and flat, my abs are tight, and I'm letting my weights just dangle down in front of me. So to activate these muscles, we're gonna separate these cans, bringing our arms out to our sides and palms to the ground. So I'm really squeezing my shoulder blades together, getting a nice strong pause at this tallest position, and then nice, slow, control, lower to where you started. You know, eight to 10 reps is appropriate. You can time this one so you can watch your progression or hold heavier and heavier weights each time you try a set here, but really contracting the shoulder blades, pulling them to the midline of your back as we do this. If this is a somewhat uncomfortable position at the hip, 
or the leg, we can also do these seated. So if you have a chair, go ahead and have a seat towards the front of your chair so your abdominal muscles are still engaged so we can keep a nice flat back. Feet again are gonna be positioned about hips width apart, firmly planted on the ground. We're gonna start with these a little bit higher than we were in our bent forward position. So out just in front of the knee, bringing our chest towards the ground. It may be easier seated, bringing our chest further down. And then similar motion, our palms are going down towards the ground, keeping in line with our shoulder, really contracting the muscles in the upper back, holding shoulder blades together, nice controlled lower to the center. So it's also gonna work that grip a little bit when we're out to the side here and working against gravity. So these are just a couple exercises you can do, pulling exercises to target the upper body at home, using some items we can easily find around the house. If you have any questions about these exercises, always feel free to reach out to any of the trainers. If you have questions for me specifically, whether that is about these exercises or anything with your exercise program, you can reach out to me at mary at mymusclesinmotion.com.